Welcome back to Primetime Studios. Like always, I'm Primetime Phil, and today we're going to talk about offensive linemen for the Dallas Cowboys. I'll go through my starters and my backups, and we'll go through three of the top offensive linemen for the Dallas Cowboys and some of their film. So first, let's start with the starters. At the center, I'm going to put Tyler Biotish, a.k.a. Tyler Badass, Connor Williams at the guard position, Tyron Smith, of course, at tackle, Zach Martin at guard, and Linnell Collins to wrap it up at the tackle position. And right there, that's my starting offensive line. As for my backups, I'm going to mix stuff around and put Connor McGovern in the center position, Terrence Steele over into the guard position, new guy Josh Ball at tackle, Matt at guard, and to wrap it up, Brandon Knight, which I thought did really good at tackle last year. I think two guys to keep your eye on for project players are Ty Nseki, a guy that we picked up from Buffalo on free agent, and then Isaac Aroncon, which we grabbed a couple of years ago, that's learning the American game. Came out of Mexico, he's a big body, can put hands on people, but still, again, learning the game. Hey guys, now I want to go over three of the top offensive linemen for the Dallas Cowboys, which are Tyron Smith, Zach Martin, and Linnell Collins. Each one brings a uniqueness to the game, but each one of them also has power and athleticism, which you'll see in a couple of these videos, which allows them to get in front of Ezekiel Elliott and become a convoy for the man. First, we're going to start off with Tyron Smith, Mr. Pterodactyl Arm. This guy is so big that when he uses an arm brace, it's a knee brace for a normal guy. We're going to take a quick look at his quick jab and show his athleticism. As he takes the linebacker and just pushes him to the side, Gets downfield, and this is a guy I would not want to get in front of. Always bringing out room. The only problem with Tyron Smith right now is that he has a reoccurring back injury. Every single year, he says he's fine. Every single year, two, three games into the season, he's out for more than four or five games. Still a guy that I want in my backfield. Still top when it comes to an NFL left tackle. Always protecting that blind side. Next, we're going to go over Zach Martin which is easily my favorite offensive lineman. He's a leader on this team, and he's a man that can play any position on the line at a very high level. Zach was drafted back in 2014 instead of the controversial Johnny Manziel. The one thing Zach definitely has is power. He's able to take defenders, push him out of holes. If you're in his way, you're not going to be in Zeke's way for long. The thing I love about him is that he's able to take on blocks and then get to the next level. Zeke is a very patient runner when it comes to running behind Martin because Martin's going to be able to push guys out of holes like I said. Another great thing about Martin is that he's able to use his body. When he gets out in front of people, he's able to take his body, put it between the defender and Ezekiel Elliott. A secret between you and I is that I can make a video on just Zach Martin and his skills alone, but today we're not going to do that. The next person I'm going to talk about is Linnell Collins, Dak's best friend. The guy is a freight train. He will get on you. He was undrafted and he decided to sign with the Dallas Cowboys and has become a starter for us for the past couple of years. Linnell has many things in his game like pass blocking that's very tops, but I find that his best attribute is when he's going downhill. He's able to take out people. Now I don't know if it's because these are cornerbacks, linebackers that he's getting in the way of, but he honestly does destroy them. Very good at his blocking techniques. He's Wow, this is going to really hurt. He's great at finishing out plays. Linnell has that nasty side about him, which you want your offensive lineman to have. When he was younger, he used to push people at the end of plays. Now he's been able to harness that at the point of attack when he's actually making the block, and it actually counts. But anyways, thank you for tuning in. I appreciate you guys checking out my channel. And like always, I'm Primetime Phil. This is Primetime Studios. Make sure you subscribe, like the video, and like always, ring that bell.